I wish for in the next millennium. Well, it's not for myself. I would make these wishes, but for, for all of you here, whom I haven't had the pleasure of meeting yet, and for all of those below, all of Andrew's rare and wonderful, perhaps not so rare friends, I will wish them more happiness. As for the millennium herself, I would wish more peace, more joy, more goodness than in all of the terrible millennia that have preceded. Somewhere in there, you've got to cut. Thank you. This is ridiculous. What's ridiculous? This best of the millennium issue of New York Magazine. They've got all these hundred best lists. Yeah, I saw that. If Ben and Jerry's ahead of Persian Baja. That is so wrong. I cannot believe he does not have a real television. Who has a millennial eve party without a TV? Henry the Navigator is best head of state? Is this a misprint? In an hour and a half, it's going to be the 21st century. How can you not have cable? Andrew doesn't watch TV. Anybody ever hear of Abe Lincoln? Holy Jesus, they've got Abe Lincoln 18 behind Deng Xiaoping. Whoa, whoa. Okay, what's Deng Xiaoping better than Abe Lincoln? Is this Channel 21? Is this UHF? What is going on? Is it 1972? You got Shakespeare III, the Dante, and Graham Gold. Ask the goat man. That scares the hell out of me. Dish, you know, I, I really we've got to uh, disagree with you. I mean, what would be the problem just kind of trusting the natural waves of time? I'm saying, you know, regardless of the television set, don't you think we'd all kind of feel it when, uh, when midnight came? Hey. Hi. What's going on? Uh, nothing much. What's going on with you? Uh, not uh, much. Hi, Dave Dishy. Hi. Hi, I'm Sylvia. Hi. Sylvia, uh, Dave. This is uh, Nicole Bigelow. She's EP on Hemingway. Everyone. Heard a lot about you. Oh, really? Yeah, you know, strictly work-related stuff. Various Idaho trips, the whole notion of shooting stills, and Fitzgerald, Paris, Stein, the whole thing. What? Actually, I really need to go to the bathroom. I just... <laughs> We were at another party and I had like six Copenhagen. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's right up the top of the stairs. Hi, by the way. Oh. Uh, well, it was great meeting y'all, David. She seemed very nice. She's good. She's good. She's very, uh, very, very, very good at her job. It was an age of innocence, a time of excess, an era of good feelings, and an evening of debauchery. It was the last night of 1999, and on a speck of dust called Earth, nothing would ever be the same. Not after Andrew's party. Andrew's party. Because sometimes even something, 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 something. Andrew's party. What an evening for regret. Oh, don't. Yeah, uh, if I'd not been so stupid. We were young. Well, we're still young. <laughs> I'll never forget your poem. You remember, Mallorca? When my soul weeps. Please don't. And Stop. my heart shudders. Stop. When pen sits at my table. I'm begging you. And bleakness Please. eats my breakfast. I return to myself when I hear the stars calling my name. The sky. The sky? Why would the stars call your name? Uh, why would the sky? The sky. I mean, for six years I've looked at the stars and thought of you. Well, the stars are in the sky. But it's it's a light in the night that inspires, no? It's no, this is a pinpoint. Uh, the endless. No, this is the fire. Vast space. There's no specificness to the sky. How can you hear it calling? Uh, 
That's what makes it poetry. Hello! We're not even midnight. <laughs> <laughs> so you're okay with this? Okay with what? This grand illusion, man. What grand illusion? I don't know, Hugs. Just the fact that although tonight means shit, although any intelligent person knows the millennium ends next year, millennium means what, Hooks? A thousand. When the first one end, man. A thousand. Next one in, next year, man. Meanwhile, there's an entire brownstone full of people down there whooping it up. Do you want to be thrown off the roof? Man, look, it's not like I give a shit, all right? I mean, it's not like the actual year has anything to do with anything all anyway. All right. Enlighten me again how the 60s ended with Watergate. Kent State, man. Otherwise, the 70s are too short, man. But what I'm saying to you... When did the 80s start, that Reagan years? MTV, man. MTV. To what? The fall of the Berlin Wall? I don't wall? know, man. The breakup of Wham. The point is, let's just chill the fuck out tonight, man. Right? I mean, there's nothing going on. I'm not even mentioning the basic obviousness of there never having been a year zero. So, does next year's New Year's matter? See, man, that's what I'm talking about. That's the real deal, baby. That's the <laughs> juice. Next year, man is gonna make, I'm sick of fucking hearing about it, 1968, look like 822 in a little village and gone. Kiss me, you fool. <laughs> so, is she here? Your girlfriend? Oh. Oh, uh, uh, Annabelle. <clears throat> uh, yeah, um, yeah, she is here actually, but. Um, Where is she? I want to meet her. Uh, I think she, I think she's on the roof. Um, with these two guys that brought this fruit. Oh no, wait a second. <clears throat> this guy, this um, Rick, is he? Uh... Yeah. Huh. Okay. 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 Uh, that's the famous Brick. All right. What? No, no, nothing. I mean, no, I mean, it's, you know, it's just sort of, uh, it's interesting to see your taste. Uh, no, which one was he? Uh, he's the one with the, uh, <clears throat> you know, the scruff. Oh. <clears throat> so what's the deal? Did you guys break up, or? Oh, uh, yeah. Um... Yeah, we did. Um, yeah, no, I mean, we, yeah, we broke up. Are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm fine. Uh, no. I mean, you know, we never, we never really kind of um, made a hump, so uh, yeah, it's less immediately painful than it might have been. Sweater. <laughs> I know. You told me at the screening. Oh, right. yeah, well, yeah. No, I mean, actually, no, I, mean, I continue to think that it's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Ooh. Uh, sorry. Do you two, um, desire solitude? Um, no, don't be silly. I, um, Conrad, Nicole. Nicole, this is Conrad. Did you just go to the bathroom? Uh, yes. Fuck me with a long stick! Pardon? This party bites. Maybe you should have some of that fruit. Andrew won't let me. I would be so awesome at stuff. I would fly like a fucking kite. Well, listen, Chief, I'm not gonna tell anybody. <laughs> me neither. Excellent. Next stop, the Kingdom of Fruit. Later. You guys are cool. So do you want some? Fruit. Yeah. 
Really? Yeah, do you want to have some of these? Um, you don't want to wait for hooks. Brick. Right, brick. <laughs> uh, no, I think they're already underway. Right. So let's do it, you and me. I mean, just the fruit. <laughs> Maybe next year? After midnight? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Definitely. All stuff in the pockets. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh, uh, yeah. No, me too. No, neither. Me neither. Some would now be a good time. Uh, to... Could it please wait one minute? I'd rather it didn't. Well, there are 86 people here, and they kind of need me to host this thing. If you could please continue to hold your horses. Fine. I've never been said I don't do as I'm told. <laughs> Is it, did you ask the question yet? Bunny meets it. Huh? <laughs> did that thing fucking work? No! The truth is, Hemingway only gets you so I mean, all this, uh, they made jokes and talked, and uh, there was a good feeling in the room. The party was fine. You saw the woman in the doorway, and it was like a warmth restored, like uh, the old days on the left bank. Poor old, lovely Scott. Yeah, it uh, gets a little tired. Yeah. Well, what about you, Suki? I'm sure you're working on something clever and exciting. If I may, she's been commissioned by the Egress Arts Council. Theater company. Oh, theater, ETC, yeah, sorry. Yeah. To uh, uh, work on a theater piece about a woman whose vagina has swollen to the size of the state of Nebraska. Utah. It's a Mormon thing. Wow. Really? It's a conceptual piece. Oh, I... it's all about oppression. This woman, Lucinda, starts renting space in her vagina to Taurus at the Olympics. I can't find my cart. Chill, so let's try the red room. A vagina is not a motel. Am I mistaken? What do, what do they sign in when they enter? There's a registration book at the lobby. Mr. Goldman, do you think you could please check the bread? Yes, of course, of course, we don't want a burning situation. <laughs> I suppose I uh, sign in with my penis? So, uh, how's it going? You um, enjoying your freedom? Very much, thanks. You? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Stallions run free. Oh! <laughs> 
It did nothing. It was less than coffee. You didn't have very much. Because it tasted like horse shit. Want any? All right. Bringing in the new year right. What a rifle, right? Eh. To the left, to the right, to the front, huh. to the left, to the right. Did you ever see my washcloth trick? Find me a washcloth. Just do it, man. You'll love this. People? People, please? Just for a second. First of all, if we could thank Andrew for getting us all together tonight and letting us use this incredible house. wanted everyone, you know, before we all get too drunk, <laughs> you know, I, I wanted to try this thing. It it's kind of corny. It's a behavioral game, and, and you don't have to play, uh, but I, I thought it would be cool. So if everyone would reach in here and put on these cards. What is this, free to be you and me? I'm Each you, card has a word, oh, yeah. like an emotion or something. And the point of the game is to wear your card and see how it affects you. How do you win? You don't win. So what's the point? The point is, you see if your behavior is affected at all by wearing the card. Well, we shouldn't look at them. We should just wear them blindly and then try to guess what they are by the way everyone treats us. Yes, you can do that if you want. See, now there's a game. I'm with you. What kind of game? This party is so white. Look, Jeez. make them into hats for all I care. Are we allowed to take as many as we like and run through millions of emotions during the course of the night? Almost like human beings. Oh, that's great. Oh. Leonine. How does, how does anyone act Leonine? Pennsylvanian? Uh, in what way are these emotions? Arr. <laughs> <laughs> it was a case done in Florida by a doctor who did this with a room full of hostile therapy patients. And by the end of the night... They had killed him. <laughs> they all kind of cured themselves. Oh, that's good. Maybe my leprosy will clear up. <laughs> Give me the gun, man. Give me the fucking gun! Just hand it over, man, Danny. What's going on? Andrew? Just put it down. It's okay, Danny. I'm scared. Put the fucking gun down. I'll bring it out over here. Conrad! <sighs> Danny, give me the gun. <sighs> this is a gun. It is not part of the party. I'll handle that, son. No, you won't, actually. Circulate. Circulate! Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy, holy, holiest of shit. Yes, immediate. I love moment. this word. Get the Lord of the Flies upstairs. Who needs an eight ball? I'm telling you, dish. So the outlook's definitely good enough. What better way to face violence and turn back? The world will embrace peace in the millennial age. Why does Andrew have a gun? The art world is uh, for competitive stuff. Very slippery with this. Step. What? What? Come on. I'm ready for anything. You want to check on Emma? I did already. <laughs> I haven't looked at my word yet. Truth, whose idea was it not to look? Mine. Mine. I cannot believe this. Come on, Steph. I got to change my word. Retrograde? Well, I like my word. But I'm coming, sir. Ready for anything. <laughs> If you were to look. Future perfect. Were you to look. If he. What excitement! A pistol! It's like a Quentin Marashino movie. Yeah, I'm lighting. I 
don't know this word, Kirtun. It's uh, certain, it means definite. Uh, like you, you know what is what? Okay, so, yes, I like this party. Rufus, Thierry, we met at last. Howdy. Ah, you are Annabelle's boy chick. I'm Lubash. I've had uh, so many good things. Me too. You, uh, you st still digging? Oh, oui, oui. Uh, I was uh, just telling Annabelle I'm only in New York for a few days. We are uh, just back from uh, Equator, assisting the uh, Montesquieu on some uh, excavation of uh, Aztec uh, ruin, uh, just as Akito. You found what you were looking for? Oh, yeah. Uh, do you know in the 12th century, the uh, Aztec were making a sacrifice to the sun and uh, held contest to see who could be the most fearless warrior. We found some uh, ruin of grand glass. They would set their own feet on fire with magnifying glasses. Sounds like an ad for Tenactin. No way. After so long in Sri Lanka, the uh, Aztec, Inca, Maya... Hey, you, uh, you, ever, uh, you ever get a chance to go to Lake Titicaca? Of course, many times. Uh, you have an interest in uh, Titicaca? The more in the titty than the caca. I don't understand. Rufus knows nothing about archaeology. Ah, most Americans don't. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sad. Isn't but it? don't be hard on yourself. You have the best education in the world. I think I will uh, go upstairs. Come, uh, we'll take some air and... Hey, um, maybe uh, later, thanks. Oh, you don't want any air, boy chick? No, you know, we, uh, we gotta, um, we gotta go, uh, talk to that guy. What guy? You know, that guy. Uh, Bertram. Oh, Bertram. Right. Go on up, I'll be right there. You too, little boy. Yes! We go now to the roof for the psychodelia. It was so nice to chat with you. Yeah, you too. Nice chat. Uh, ruins of ground glass? We got sand? Are you out with this guy? He's not uncharming. I don't know, I know. It's, uh, it's... It made it sound like it was Inspector Clouseau. He's like the suavest guy since Michael York. You're just saying that. And Rich, too, right? Probably grew up tromping around Versailles with his little short pants and red balloons. Well, actually, his father is French shipping. Conditional. Shit. I got it. I got it. You just going to swing on back to him now? I mean, can I get any credit for this? Excuse me, who gave you the hints? Excuse me, who did the guessing? Okay. You, you are great. You're wonderful. You are the goddess of all time. I'm very happy that Pepe Le Pew can come swoop you off to the Champs-Élysées. You know, Rufus, you could ask me what it's like to see him. I haven't seen him in six years. Qua? Hey, you <laughs> two. Where are your cards? Oh, yeah, you know, uh, we're kind of giving it a break. Oh, come on, kids. Here are two more. Well, I just didn't like your words. And, uh... Good. That's good. Now just keep going. Watch how it affects your conversation. So how does it feel? I was already distraught. How does it feel to see him? Are you asking for me or for you? Whatever. Okay. Hey, how does it feel to see your old French lover on New Year's Eve when you're supposed to be with me? Are you actually jealous, Rufus? <sighs> what is to be jealous of? This man obviously has no inner life. The inner life can be taken a little far, you hey, know. I'm very active on the outside. Oh. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm Mr. Fun, Mr. Action, Mr. Spontaneity. Okay. Do something spontaneous for me, Rufus. Okay, I will. Just, uh... Just give me a second. You know, if if a bunch of Martians came down, they'd say this poor little man, he still doesn't get it. He still won't deal with this woman. He still won't ask her about her dreams or buy her any flowers unless it's some weird anniversary that she'll know nothing about so he can turn it around and 
act like his feelings are hurt. He's the one who won't even call and make sure she gets home safe at two o'clock in the morning because he has a thing about no sleepovers on school nights. And this, this poor girl, this poor fabulous woman, she did everything she could. She even broke up with the guy just to try to make him wake up. She'll be a lot better.